What's going on, guys? Welcome to Salt 2, an open world pirate survival game. And yes, in this one, you can create boats and sail to different islands and places. There's a story in this game. There is an infinite number of islands. There are dungeons, monsters, crafting, building, exploring, everything that you would ever want in a pirate survival game. The journal just told me that we need to go and enter into a cave. But in order to do that, obviously, we're going to need some weapons. It looks like we have a nice little cutlass right here. A map to the seaport where maybe we can sell some stuff, talk to some traders, a sextant, and a compass. Everything you really need to be a pirate. Looks like we have a nice little bed here that we can come back to if we need be as well. Let's go ahead and equip that sword. We have a couple of different attacks. It looks like we have a, just a straight left click. We have a heavy attack. And then, of course, a block. And then our left control is going to be a bit of a dodge. Grab a little bit of a wood sapling. Looks like there's some copper right there. There's also levels. The game has some RPG elements. So you can go up in some different trees to get a little bit stronger and better as time goes on, of course. Crafting gets pretty expansive. One of my favorite things about the game as well is as you clear dungeons, you find chests. And those chests can have named loot. The named loot is obviously going to be a bit stronger than the stuff you can craft. Obviously... You can outcraft the name loot, but there's something about doing a nice dungeon, defeating a bunch of enemies. There's spiders, creatures, monsters, other pirates, which can be pretty exciting. I just leveled up as well. A journal explained how I was shipwrecked and a stranger dragged me out to an old can site. He recommended I craft a raft and head for the nearest seaport. He also mentioned a cave to the northeast. Northeast? Wait, did I just read that completely wrong? Northwest <laughs> of the camp for supplies. So let's go there. Oh, well, I kind of am northwest of camp, so the cave should be around here somewhere. Where would I be if I was the cave? Ooh, look at that. Like an old abandoned shack or something like that, and a deer. I don't have a bow for the deer, and I doubt I'm going to be able to catch up to it with a sword. <laughs> Come here. Come here. <laughs> nope. See? It gets away from me. A drunken man's shack. Okay. Cool. I'm down for that. What else is going on in here? Abandoned shack key required. Ooh. Some rods, deer meat, a wooden bowl. Abandoned shack note. The rum has gone to my head again. I can't even remember where I hid the key to the storage shed. I feel like it was on a stone. No, a tomb. No, a tombstone. Yeah, that was it. Wait, I need another drink first. Oh. Looks like he may have drank himself to death a little bit there. I'm going to grab all of these empty bottles. Probably can fill them with, like, fresh water or something. So, it seems like if we find a tombstone... We'll be able to open this drunken man's shack. But where would that be? Oh, would you look at that? A tombstone. <laughs> right next to the shack in the trees. All right, what's in here? Yes, please unlock that. <gasps> A bow. Don't mind if I do. You can press C to sneak. Nice. I want to take that painting with me. Put it on my boat. Some arrows, health potions, a lockpick. <gasps> Some bananas. A little combat guide. Bunch of money. Another wooden bowl, and I'm grabbing all of these bottles. Morning dew and sage. Nice. Okay, so now we have ourselves a bow. And we should be able to take out deer for food. We do have to eat. I don't believe there's a drinking mechanic, but I think there might be, like, a drinking mechanic in that, like, potions, brews, and beers, and, of course, grog for those long pirate journeys. But enough distraction. We must find the cave. Ooh, there's the deer. And I didn't sneak in time. Let's see how far away the aggro range leaves. Oh, he's long gone. Okay, well, I think this actually might be the cave right here. A sandy grotto. Okay. There's also a cooking station here where we can see a different couple of different things. So you gain dexterity, strength, so it's kind of like a bit of a Valheim cooking system. Uh, but you still have to eat, though, so... Okay. I'm gonna do a little bit of cooked venison. That gave me a ton of XP. Oh, and I have cooking levels. So there's individual levels for each of the different trees that might actually, like, unlock different things. Cool. I'm going to put that on my three key for when I get hungry. And let's go into the cave. Oh, goodness. Wow. This is a pretty game. Ooh, copper pickaxe, some money, bullets. Don't mind if I do. I found the cave, according to my sources, is a hidden alcove where Captain Blackburn was trapped with his treasure. Uh-oh. Not Captain Blackburn. Axe head, health potions, fabric dyes. Ooh, some mushies. All right. Captain Blackburn, where are you? Is he going to be a skeleton? 
Ooh, tons of stuff in there. Whole bunch of wood. Oh, Jesus. Is this... I don't think this is Captain Blackburn. Just gonna try to block. There we go. A little bit of bear meat. Uh, I believe I am bleeding. No, we're good. Okay, well, I didn't anticipate uh, there to be a bear in here. Some bullets. Wooden handle. I got a little bit of food off of him, though. So don't mind if I do. I'd like to find a pistol in here, if that's a thing. Throughout your adventure, you discover crafting recipes. Wanderer's boots, hats, and a shirt. Ooh. Okay, so those little crafting notes and stuff that we're also going to find. Nice. So now we have a bit of food, a bit of supplies, and it looks like that chest right there gave me everything I needed to craft a boat. So let's craft a boat. All right, cartographer station. And yep, that chest did give me everything I needed to craft a boat. And now how do we place the boat on the water also? This tells me exactly where I am. I'm dead center of the map. East zero, south zero. Oh, right there. And then it marks it on my map for me. We also have these recipes that I needed to learn so we can make some armor, which is cool. And then we have ourselves a raft and we can place that down. Bada bing. Bada. Ooh, what is that? Can I loot this? No, it's empty. Okay. Oh, a little afraid of sharks and stuff. I'm not sure if there are sharks and things in the game. But it looks like we're on our first boat. So now we have a map to the seaport. Shows an island at one west. Ah, okay. So directly west is the direction we need to go. And as my compass states, west is directly behind us. So I'm going to have to loop around this island. Let's do that. So how does this work? we got to put down... Uh, extend the sail. And we're moving. Just like that. Okay. And then we grab the steer. Uh, go ahead and swing that. I'm unsure if you have to move into the wind or if we're just going to kind of move at a basic pace. I'm not really sure which way I prefer. If you have to wait for the wind or, or not. It could be a little annoying going into the wind. Or against it, that is. So, I don't know. We'll see what the sailing kind of feels like as we play more. I also want to make sure in case a kraken comes up. I have five arrows and a dream to kill a kraken. Do you think it's possible? One for each eye? How many eyeballs does a kraken have? I'm not even sure. And I'm almost certain. I know with at least the bigger ship, you can build on it. I'm not sure if we could do it on the smaller raft, but the bigger one you definitely can. And this looks to be the island that I need to go to. It's a waypoint. I guess there's going to be a port here or something like that. So let's see what's going on. Oh god, yeah, there definitely is some wind going on here. And that is how you park a boat. Going to retract that. Put it right up against the rock, and it doesn't look like it's going to go anywhere. This is the island that the map was pointing me to. Let's see if they were lying to me or not. It is something a pirate would do. Oh no, look at that. Whoa. It's like a crashed ship really, really deep ashore. Ooh, ooh, hello, hello. I want to try to get this deer if I can. Nice. Wait, just like that? Our archery level goes up a little bit. Antlers, rawhide. Ooh, I bet we're going to need that rawhide for uh, making that armor that we just found. Dread Kraken Seaport. I told you there was a Kraken Got somewhere. Any, What's that on your shirt? Oh, you caught... God damn it. I fell for the oldest trick in the book. Damn pirates and their stupid mm -hmm. jokes. Ahoy there. Are you looking to join the Sea Divers Guild? What's that? We're really a group of treasure hunters. Except instead of looking for treasure above the sea, we look for the treasure below it. It takes a lot of skill. Sure, why not? You just gave me a map location to how to join the guild. And who are you, Marauder mm -hmm. Scout? Again, I was told you already. Oh, my mistake. I thought you were someone else. Who do you think I was? The puny little runt who keeps bothering me about joining the guild. The guy right next to you, dude? I think I'd be a good fit for the guild. What do you have in mind? I need a client of mine, dealt with. Dealt with six feet under. Do it with my eyes closed, buddy. Go kill a pirate captain, report back to me once it's done. We're, we're grabbing a whole bunch of quests here already. I could join a guild. Okay, and it looks like there's actually sea diving as well, which could be a little crazy. 
Ooh, a weaving station where we can actually craft some things, like coarse leather using stones. Ooh, these are the wanderer's clothing I was talking about where we do indeed need leather. Okay, and then the fabric dye. Okay. Are you a bit of a trader? An outfitter. Let me see what you have. Look at all that. Yeah, he's got the fabric dye. He's also got some blueprints and things for some different armors and some more exotic and rare pelts. Okay. And this looks like a tavern. Hello. Who are you, We've innkeeper? Got you got the gold. Okay. And this guy's missing out on his... Ooh, wait. A secret little underground dungeon? Ah, this is where people sleep. But there's free things. Steal them all. I am a pirate, after all. What appears to be a small globe atop a dark wooden desk. Globe depicts islands spotted across the vast sea. Looking closer, you notice a small mesh session to the bottom of the globe. It reads, a gift to the old friend from the pirate days. Oh, I thought it was going to give me, like, a secret quest or something. Sag. Grab a little bit of cheese. There's a bunch of free stuff in here. Um, free, quote-unquote. Map to the Sea Divers Guild. Put a waypoint on our map. Navigator's Band. Ooh. Equip that. Awesome. And it says we have to inspect it. Oh, and then you get to add either strength or dexterity. Dexterity increases the chance for special effects on weapon and armor to occur. Strength increases the chance to attack with advantage, rolling damage twice, and taking the higher for the two. Yeah, let's go up and just straight strength at first. Cool. Okay, so we can start going up at a bit of a more build. <gasps> we can talk to the bird. Oh, squawk. Squawk to you too, brother. There's also an upstairs we can steal from. <laughs> but I think he'll notice that. And I finally found the quest objective, this guy right here, and he wants me to go fetch him his compass. Uh, typical. Typical pirate's life, doing everything for everybody else. Except I don't think I'm actually a pirate, but I'm a self-proclaimed pirate. They can't tell me otherwise. And then he tells me where a pirate island is. So, boom. We have a few different markings on our map for some different adventures to go on. So let us embark on those adventures. I believe I parked my ship off this way. Ooh, another deer. Don't mind if I do. And let's try to hit a headshot. Nice. Beautiful. A little chunk of archery level and a little bit more rawhide and deer meat. And there's my beautiful little ship. As the sun sets on the horizon of our first day in Salt 2. Not too bad. Out to sea we go. Yet again. Turn, 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 turn. Alrighty. You can just get out and push it, which is nice. In case it gets stuck. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. It takes off without me. Please, no. Please get stuck on that rock. Please get stuck on that rock. I should have... Oh, my God. Thank the Lord. It might unstick itself, though, so we got to be careful. Huh. Okay. It says we can redeploy it. I got this. I got this. There's, there, is there a reverse on this thing? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Put up the sail. <laughs> and then push it to the limit. All right. Lovely. Now, extend it. And there is a wind effect. I can see the wind actually going this way. Which way is that? That is southeast. Um, there's absolutely nothing for us in the southeast, at least objective-wise. We actually have to kind of go west, so I'm going to turn this puppy around. And we want to head southwest, which is the exact direction that we're headed right now. Beautiful. All right, let's see if we see an island. Oh, is it that one right there? It may be that one right there. Oh, God, this is a big wave. I really hope something's not going to come up and scoop my tiny little raft. These waves are a little large for, uh, for, yeah, yeah, I just pretty much went airborne there. The sea should be calmer at night, though. Look at that moon. So pretty. Seems beautiful. It's about to get literally pitch black, though. So can we please... This this whole open ocean at night thing? Um, very, very scary. And I want to please... Can I just get to this island right away? Oh, my God. Shiver me timbers. I'm getting spooked. Tickle me spooked. I think the island's right here, though. I can kind of see it. 
the edge of my vision. There it is. Yep, 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 yep. Let's just crash right into it. And then I'll put up the sail and we shouldn't move anymore. Boom. Okay. I can't see worth a damn. Hello? Is there anybody here on this island? We might be able to see like a campfire or something off in the distance. Seems like the moonlight's starting to come out. I do actually see something glowing dead ahead of me, so let's go there. And I'm trying to remember what I was looking for on this island. Is it the stolen compass? I believe it is. And I see some spooky ghost dust over there. All right, that's scary. Yeah, it's definitely like an old lit fireplace or something like that. Just gotta be a little careful. Not sure what I'm about to run into. An abandoned campsite. Oh, it looks like it's got like a cave entrance of some kind, a spooky cave entrance. Ruined books, stamina potions, history of a pirate. I can't read that, it's too dark. This is the light I saw. Ooh, a workstation. We can make more arrows if we find flint. We also have ourselves a copper pickaxe if need be as well. That's how we can find some flint for our bow. Eventually you do actually get the get to craft one of these workstations. But right now we have to kind of follow the main quest to unlock a lot of different things. Some fishing lures, a little bit of copper. What's in here? Sage, copper, broken climbing gear, butter, gunpowder. Ooh. A cartographer chest. Nice. Compass, fishing hook, map to the marshlands. Ooh. A whole different biome. Alright, I think it's time I go into the, uh, the creepy cave. Oh, look, a hatchet. Yes. So now we have a pickaxe, a hatchet, so we can chop trees. So if you don't really explore a whole bunch, you're going to have a hard time finding those early, uh, those early loot skis. So look at this, a pirate back here, a dead skeleton. Dead skeleton, dead pirate skeleton. Mm -hmm. Let's go into the cave, see what's going on. Uh-oh. Preacher's Prison. There's another pirate's cutlass right here. Another compass. Some free money. Don't mind if I do. Is that cutlass better than mine? 1 to 4 slashing, 5 to 10 slashing, 3 to 12. So it doesn't have the same high-end damage, but it's got a more consistent secondary attack. And plus 2 dexterity. I don't know if that's worth it. But let's try it. We can easily swap back if we need to. And is this a flint stone? No, that's a copper stone. I see a chest there, but like... Wait, this is like an old church or something. Like they had a wedding here? Some bullets, some fabric tie. Nice, that's actually to use to make that armor that I was trying to craft. What's gonna happen when I open this? Another pirate's cutlass, emerald, a whole bunch of money. Don't mind me, I'm just stealing all your gifts for your wedding. Herbalist? Okay, wait. Is there nothing evil in here? Just free loot? Don't mind if I do. Another hatchet. Nice. The hatchets also have a bit of damage on them. Plus two dexterity. Plus two dexterity. Okay. Alright, not bad. Let's go to that other creepy little uh, foggy place I saw before. We actually got a little bit of flint off of that. Wait, that said jokes? for a pirate. What's the difference between a pirate and a cranberry farmer? What? A pirate buries his treasure, but a cranberry farmer treasures his berries. Boo. Actually cook up some food here. We'll do some cooked bear. A little cooked venison. We can actually make fabric dye if we find more cave mushrooms. Okay, so we need to go into those caves a bit more and look for mushrooms. Oh, it looks like there's a bear and a boar here and a deer. I only have four arrows to my name. I'm not sure if that's the play right now. I'd rather get to this creepy little dungeon over here, because this might have the stolen cartographer's compass. And that is why I am here. Because I have reason to actually believe that obtaining this compass is going to give us the next ship. And it looks like these are going to be skeletons. I got a skeleton archer right there. I'm going to sneak up behind him. Nice. Good little hit. And he's dead just like that. See you later. 
little bow, a bone. Okay, nice. I kind of like that it dropped a bow. I hope it does work that way. There's something about these games where you take out something and it doesn't give you what they're physically holding, which can be a bit goofy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, we need to hit the, the correct parry timers. There we go. Insufficient stamina to block. All right, all right, all right. I need to hit these health pots. Not available for... Okay, might have overstepped ourselves. No, okay. No, we're dead. All right. Well, it says change difficulty. Oh my goodness. It just throws us back here, huh? And we're low on food now. Okay, so I need to take that a little bit slower. I honestly didn't expect two skeletons to absolutely pwn me. Um, definitely going to need stamina pots. Those are very useful. This is going to give us food, health, dexterity, and agility. This is going to give us strength. Let's actually go ahead and eat that real quick. Now we have health pots and stamina pots. But it looks like we keep our stuff. We're just going to have to, like, retry it again. It spawns us on our boat. There is a difficulty slider as well. I'm on normal. So I can't imagine what it's going to be like on some of the harder difficulties. And I just drank a stamina pot on accident. <sighs> You know, me and my fat fingers. Looks like the bow is actually going to be like our best friend here. And did the skeleton archer respawn? Nope, but those two guys are still clumped together. So maybe we just sneak around them real quick. I have a buff in the top left from eating that food called strong. But it goes to show that this still has a bit of a challenge to it. Here we go. Hit a crit. Nice. Okay. So, yeah. The bow is going to be very important on our endeavors. Until we find a stronger weapon. Just going to kind of sneak towards the back. I want to make sure that we don't get double teamed again. It's taking on two at once seems rather difficult. I just heard a boar behind me. Oh, God. And I wonder if they're like... Are they stronger at night? They are evil witch skeletons, you know what I mean? I found the cave I'm supposed to go into here. But I'm almost certain that, like, I'm gonna have trouble in there. <laughs> because I'm supposed to take on, like, a, spell a skeleton king or, like, a skeleton captain or something of that nature. Ooh, another pirate's cutlass. Is that one gonna be any better than the one we currently have? Plus two dexterity now. Alright, well... Let's go in. Let's see what we can do. Hello, haunted tomb. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Another pirate's cutlass. Not any better again. Seems like most of the pirate's cutlasses are going to be pretty poop compared to what I currently have. A book on the undead. It's a little too dark to read, unfortunately. <laughs> Got a little chest right here. Blacksmith chest with some copper ore. I found a sailor's potion and a scholar's drink, plus 10 constitution. And then this one gives 20% increased critical damage with slashing weapons for 10 minutes. I might use that if things are getting a little spicy in here. Oh, these mushrooms. The cave mushrooms are exactly what we needed, actually. To uh, cook a few different things, so that's nice to find. All right. Getting a little deeper into the cave. Looks like there's actually some emeralds and some some more free stuff. Alright, skeleton fighter right there. It looks like we'll only get one if we shoot him, so let's pull him out. <laughs> Alright, down. Down and out. Not bad. We got another skeleton fighter right there. He's a bit of a wanderer. There's two wanderers. He doesn't see me, does he? Please, please no. Please do not come after me. I'm going to just kind of scoot up this way. Again, I have reason to believe that this is where the cartographer's stolen compass is going to be. It looks like these guys may be compass stealers. There was two in here, but we're good. Okay. 
I really need more stamina. Because holy crap, you drop stamina rapidly in this game. Store chest, copper, more healing and stuff. Money. 100 copper equal one silver. 100 silver equal one gold. 100 gold equal one platinum. I'm pretty used to that. I have played World of Warcraft before. Whoa, wait, what is this? I found a, a secret lever. You hear a gate open nearby. Um, really? A secret lever. Ooh, another copper pickaxe. Nice, I think we already have one of those, though. Um, and it looks like I want to eat something just to max out my health real quick. A potato. I'm going to eat one of these guys just to get another buff of some kind as well. There we go. We just eat that. And screw it. We're going to take the sailor's potion as well so we get a higher crit. With slashing weapons. Hey there, buddy. I have a higher crit chance now. <sighs> nice. See ya. The combat's taking a little getting used to. It seems like while you're mid-swing, you can't dash. Which is odd, but I also kind of understand why they would do something like that. They don't want you to, like, cheese every enemy. You're going to have to, like, kind of stat check is kind of what the gameplay feels like. Just, <gasps> oh, okay. We're going to heal up. But blocking hardly feels worth it. But we should be good. Drinking another stamina pot, a little health pot. Nice. See you later. A pirate's pistol. Rite of passage key shard. Whoa. We can also equip this. I'm going to put that on my four key. Inspect for more talents. Extra damage to deer. More dexterity. I'm definitely just going to do a full stat check. <clears throat> I have 36 ammo. So... I overshot it. Oh my god. Overshot it, but this thing is amazing. And I wonder if I'm losing a lot of stamina because I'm blocking too early. I gained a level. Okay, and this is my levels tree. This is slashing, so... Unspent skill points. You get a skill point in slashing every five levels into slashing, bludgeoning, piercing, archery, marksman, all the same. Okay. Your world tier changes, so your next tier is going to be level 10 on your full character. All right. I like what I'm seeing. Cool. This is actually a quite a bit of customization if you kind of stick to the same tree. Pirates, cutlass, some more copper ingots. We have found the booty. Nice. Whole bunch of crap. Wow. But I remember I opened that secret door with the lever. So I want to figure out where the heck that secret door is. Because clearly that'll lead to some delicious loot. And it looks like it might be up there. But how do we get up there? Ooh, another workbench. Nice. I'm actually going to make a couple of arrows real quick. Because we are out of arrows. Health pots are with morning dew. I need more stamp pots more than anything. So let's make a couple of those. And this is the door that I opened right here. <gasps> Ooh. Don't mind if I do secret loot. Are there any mushies in here? Because I need mushies for crafting. They're very important. A chef's chest. Cool. I am indeed a chef. More copper ingots. Beautiful. Item talents. Explorer's bow. <gasps> Ooh, what was that? A raider's axe? And what's the damage on that? About the same as my current. But it has talent points and plus two agility on it. Extra damage to boars and bears? Nope, we're just gonna go with the overall there. And then, boop, this is my new weapon. Nice. Okay, so totally worth coming in here. That's for sure. We got a specialty weapon. But that was not the cartographer's stolen compass location. Unless I missed it, which I don't think I did. So, are we on the right island? Let's check outside with the sextant. It's still nighttime. We are at 1 west, 2 south. 
Oh no, we are not on the correct island at all. Okay, so we just came here, leveled up, conquered a skeleton boss, and found a dope axe. And this is just a randomly generated island that I just so happened to jump onto. Cool. Well, this is actually going to well equip us for our journey to find that uh, broken compass. So let's hop back on our ship and see if we can't find our way over there. And there might actually be a bed at this campsite over here to sleep through the night real quick. Let's do that. Even though this music is extremely relaxing at night with the big giant moon shining down. There we go. Morning of a new day, a new adventure. Let us embark. Ooh, we have a nice little deer right there. I wonder how the pistol's gonna do against the deer. Oh, insta-kill it. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. It's also gonna be a good way to level up uh, the uh, flintlock pistol tree, so nice. I'm here for it. Oh, hi. Oh, that's a blue grizzly bear. Okay. Let's give this axe a try. Insufficient stamina to block. I did not expect a blue grizzly bear to roll up and a bear iris. Digested human bones. Flawless fur coat. Ooh. So that's going to allow us to craft even better armors, I assume. And they probably sell for quite a bit as well. Let's take out that deer real quick. Don't mind if I do. And it's got a better fur pelt, quality venison. This might be like a higher level island. That I just kind of happenstanced across, so we'll keep a keep a reminder in our brains to come back here in case we need quality pelts and better meats and things like that. My ship's right there, and then according to the sextant, we are right here, which means we need to head northwest to get to where we want to be. Northwest is that way. So is it that island right there? It may be. It may be gonna push my ship in the proper direction makes it a lot easier to set sail go ahead and extend that and I believe that is the island we're going to so we're just gonna kind of drift straight forward it looks like it has different types of trees so this area might be even harder than where we just were so I am glad that we found this pistol as well as the better axe because we're gonna need it where we're going really feels like this game is going to have literal, literally unlimited adventures. I mean, the map is completely procedurally generated. Every single time with a seed code and everything like that. Um, and they're updating regularly. The last update was actually in December, where they added a even lengthier chunk of the story. Um, and apparently there is another update coming very, very soon to add another whole chunk to the story. So there's a lot to adventure in this game so far. And uh, I'm glad to see how far it came. I played Salt 1 a whole bunch uh, back in the day. I also tried this when it first came out. And I was like, it just needs some time to cook. And it's been cooking. And I believe it's in a really good spot to definitely uh, go and check this out on Steam. I would highly recommend it. But enough jibba-jabba. Time for adventure. Cartographer's Stolen Compass. Let's see where that would be over here. Is that a random little fishy? Can I grab him? No. Ooh, there's some gallows right here. But are those skeletons at the gallows going to attack me? Okay, this is only mildly creepy. We can just loot them. Copper health pots? Nice. Some free loot. Lightwood crate recipe. Learn. Explorer's bow. So now we can craft a better bow. And a brawler's axe. Ooh, that's way stronger than mine. When we find a workbench, we can see uh, what the cost of that will be. Maybe we can craft one sooner rather than later. Now, where would I be if I stole someone's compass? I'd probably be a pirate. Pirates steal things, right? And look at that, a pirate camp. Um, I'm afraid to like just shoot into there willy-nilly because I'm not actually sure if these guys are bad. I'm just going to go with that they're bad. I just drank another stamina pot. Oh my god. Here we go. I missed. Okay, again, I'm trying not to get two of them to come out at the same time because I'm unsure I'm going to be capable of killing two at the same time. 
I'm just gonna try to shoot him. Oh my god, so there's like drop. Like a lot of drop on this. I'm not good with it yet. But also, I feel like I should wait for my stam to be like 100% before I go and shoot something in there. There's a random boar right there. <laughs> See you later. Boar meat and some rawhide. Nice. So let's do this. Let's try to hit that guy. All right, no, there's definitely like a distance that this is shooting. Hello? There we go. I gotta stop going for the headshots, apparently. I'm just not accurate enough with it. And he's dead as hell. Wait, cartographer's stolen compass. That's the guy that had it? Oh, there's no way we're stopping there, though. These guys are pirates. They can no longer be here. I am the only pirate allowed. Here we go. See you later. Um, and I clearly need to stop drinking stamina pots when I'm trying to equip my gun. Here we go. I think I may have gotten some really good gear from that uh, overleveled island I was just at, <laughs> and it's making short work of these pirates. But it's kind of nice. I could just run up and pwn them. Some pirate ale. Don't mind if I do. A little chesticle right here, some cooking oil and some healing pots. Copper, stamp pots that I keep drinking on accident. Bananas? Hell yeah. And so far, it doesn't seem like there's a weight system, which I am happy about. Oh, this is the workbench. Ah, but we don't have those, like, better supplies or better axes or anything that we can craft in there. So I wonder if maybe there's going to be a weapon bench in the future. Let's go take on the pirate captain. He should be in here, right? If I know anything about pirates, they usually have a captain. Uh, oh, pfft. he's gone. Pirate guard? So is this like a prison or something? You've gained a level. You are now level three. Lovely. Another pirate's cutlass right there. Ooh, another pirate pistol. A hat. Mind if I do some parchment paper? So what does that hat give us? Plus one armor, plus one dexterity, or agility? Agility increases your maximum stamina. Do not mind if I do. I need more stamina, always. It looks like, ooh, there's a lever to get right in here. But what is this? Just a little pirate's thing? Just a little sleeping. Oh no, this is a prison, like I just said. So that's that's a prison cell. More mushrooms for cooking. Don't mind if I do. There, oh, just headshot that guy real quick. <laughs> He's no longer with us. Oh my god, so many bullets. Arrows, bullets, wooden bowls, yes, please, now that we have this gun. This gun was actually a recent update to the game as well. Last time I played, there was no guns. I'm wondering if there's, like, musket rifles and things as well. That'd be super dope. Another prison cell. Hello there. Up. Nope, you are not getting a hit off. I'm going through this thing completely flawless. Captain's key required. Oh. So there is a captain here. But I am the captain now. I hear someone whistling. Is that the captain having a good old time? Prison guard, prison guard. Here we go, we hit a crit on that guy. And then, boop, we block that. Haha, <laughs> told you I was going flawless in here. He can't tell me otherwise. Cutlass, some more parchments. I'm stealing everything, man. There's no way. Reminds me of my days in Skyrim. I'm gonna scoop all this. And what's in here? Some copper and cooking oil. Copper vein. Reload. Overshot that. The warden. So that's the captain. Oh, oh we didn't go flawless. I apologize. I got hit once. Gambler's dice. Oh, wait. That's also the thing that I needed for the other quest. Oh, cool. Oh yeah, because he wanted me to kill. So one of the guys wanted a gambler's dice. One of them wanted me to kill the pirate captain. And then another one wanted me obviously to get the cartographer's thing. So I just, I think I just completed three quests in one go here. Nice. Don't mind if I do. And now that I'm geared up, I almost want to increase the difficulty. That way I get a little bit more of a challenge. 
And then look at that. The end of the cave leads to the front of the cave. That's a nice touch. All right, so it looks like we need to go turn in these quests. And then uh, see what we get in return for completing the quest. My guy is a bit hungry, though. Um, and I also found these boots with unspent talent points. Ice armor reduces speed by 25% added chance. Oh, so if someone hits me, there's a chance that they get frozen, which reduces movement speed, which will allow me to kite, but I kind of just want the permanent stats on everything. So we'll go with the constitution. These are the gallows that we landed at. And bada bing, bada boom. We need to head back to the island that had the uh, the quests and things, which is right there, north east. Northeast is that one, so I believe it's that island right there. Let's give this guy a good old push. Land ho! Ooh! I also just found out that the other pistol I just found has a different buff on it. I actually gave it dexterity, though. I should have given it agility, because my other one has dexterity. So never mind. Ignore what I just said. Well, let's go turn in these quests real quick. Home sweet home. Dread Kraken Seaport. So, this guy right here. Hello. Pirate Captain is slain, and then he tells me where the headquarters is. He also gave me a ward, Ashwalker's ward, and a Marauder badge, and some money. Nice, and it tells me where the Marauder's Guild entrance is. And then the cartographer lived over here. Bada bing. And be like, yes, I found your compass. There you go. And now I'm level five. You give me sandpaper, copper ingot, linens, and a few other things. Okay, nice. And then the gambler's dice goes to the tavern owner. I did find your dice. There we go. And he gave me a treasure chest. Hold to open. Um, don't mind if I do. Boom. Ooh, a rogue's necklace, drifter's coat, adventurer's flintlock. Um, don't mind if I do. We learned how to make a nomad hat. And then the drifter's coat. And then an Ashwalker's Ward. Do I immune to damage from campfires? Okay. And we also gain three dexterity for that. But there's also the Rogue's Necklace, which can give us plus one armor or plus one agility. I'm going with agility. How many necklaces can we wear? Well, we can wear at least two, based on what I'm seeing. Go into our equipment tree. Yeah, you can wear two trinkets, two rings, body, pants, and head. Or, yeah. Oh, we can make a hip lantern. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Not sure where that equips onto. It looks like it might equip in the ring position. Oh no, it just equips wherever. Nice. And now look at this. We can uh, actually craft a wave skipper. Wow, okay. So we craft the wave skipper at the cartographer's table in his shop. So boop right here, wave skipper, craft. Bada bing, bada boom. I have sail. indeed crafted a wave skipper. I missed the high and then seas. if we go in here, we can actually... Oh, I just bought it. I was going to try to read it. But we can also do the cartographer ship blueprint for 10 silver. So we can even do another ship after this one. And then a red raider or a crimson voyager. Holy crap. Okay, so there's a lot of different ships. But we just crafted our even bigger ship. And based on this map, our next quest is going to be to the south. So we're going to want to place that ship on the southern tip of the island. Look at all the crafting reagents and everything I have now. Holy crap, just from my short adventures. We can also sell a lot of this stuff. And then bada bing, bada boom. There's my wave skipper. My bigger ship. 
Or she blows. The SS Farto. That is I, Farto. Let's get on board. Let's see what the our new digs look like. Look at that. So this is where I can place that workbench that I just purchased. We also have a sandy bed recipe. We have a whole bunch of maps to read as well. So let's set a waypoint for there. Set a waypoint for there. Marshlands. So boom. We have a whole bunch of different locations to travel out to now. And then we have our workbench, which we can just go ahead and rotate with that button. And place that right there. And then boom. We have somewhere to actually craft. So there we go. And now we ride the ship off into the sunset. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you want to see more, let me know. This is definitely worth your while if you're looking for a nice single-player pirate survival game. Kind of Sea of thieves -y. Definitely a fun one. You can check it out with the Steam link down below. Or, of course, just Google Salt 2. Thanks so much for hanging out today. And, uh, again, I'll see you tomorrow.